Hey everyone, this is Alex Freeman presenting his new channel, Fossil Rush. Anyways, this new channel is to present and teach you all about fossils, prehistoric life, and all sorts of interesting creatures that dwelled in those times. And I think I'll start off with the basics, such as ammonites. This is my largest specimen here. I am currently writing a book on all the thousands of prehistoric species. In due time, I will classify this creature of what species it is. And even though it is damaged, I believe I can give it a name in due course once the book is finished. Next one has a bit of a history. Not the actual ammonite, but rather its casing. Just the imprint of what was left on the rock from the fossil. A large ammonite, as you can see. It was actually just left on the Jurassic coast. Nobody wanted it because it was just an imprint. But I find that imprints are just as fascinating as the actual fossils of themselves. So since nobody wanted it, I just took it home with me and gave it a nice little home before it was crushed under a boulder. Next species is a, a little more spiky, you could say. This fella, I da dare say so. Mm, quite rigid, I would say. Less spiky, more rigid, yeah. But yes, this specimen was a, a gift I was given when I was young. It made for one of my starting centerpieces when I was ten years old and started to really enjoy the prehistoric world. Next one is also a gift. This was given to me by was it my mum or uncle? Ah, it doesn't matter. And anyway, as you can see, it's a different species once again. And once again, it will be classified in my dino book. My prehistoria, I'm going to call it. One more gift that was given to me by a friend this time. A little damaged, as you can see. But, that's alright. Even if it is damaged, I'll treasure it. And my last one is one I hold most dear. My smallest ammonite. And this one's got quite a story. I found it on the Jurassic Coast after a landslide had fallen just a few days before. I saw it gleaming out of the out of the soil, um, and I just thought, I thought it was just uh, stones, but I picked it up, gave it a wipe, and my gosh, there it was, such a tiny little thing, and in such good condition as well, seen as most ammonites from the Jurassic Coast are uh, compressed down and are just imprints on the rock, which I find this is a a good thing. It was quite a treasure. I keep it always with me on my desk <laughs> to, to remind me of, of that day of what I found. Right, that is the end of my ammonites, but I can tell you that all these specimens range from the Triassic to all the way to the Cretaceous. And obviously they were chowder for many predators. Sharks, big giant squids, mosasaurs, marine crocodiles, all sorts of preds. But they, but they weren't just shelled squids. They also had their purpose in life, feeding off the microbiological life forms, or feeding off small fish, all sorts of little critters, shrimp even possibly. And I do believe that is it for my show. 
Right then, if you want to see more of my videos, see you for next week. For we are going to look at Mosasaurs, the more terrifying and more well-known predators in the prehistoric deep. Stay tuned, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later!